I've actually had my own battle with severe depression. And uh, like so many of the problems in the world, we seek easy answer, uh, quick remedies in the form of popping pills instead of facing the root cause of the problem. And um, this next poem was written um, a couple years ago uh, when I was trying to kick my Prozac habit because I'd been taking it for 20 years. And I was tired of being numb. Prescribed addiction. The amber vial sits patiently, waiting for me, teasing me from the sink's edge. Three turquoise capsules, pretty little polyvules provoke me at dawn, as the Colgate from my mouth makes me appear crazy, insane, mad, unbalanced, out of seat, confused. I'm convinced my toothbrush has joined this conspiracy, hmm. along with the mirror, fogged just enough to erase my brow quicker than tweezers and blur the image of my breast, one of the few reflections worth remaining, not yet scarred by the scalpel cutting out my youth. You're not thinking clearly. You're not processing properly. These problems we create, they're just all in your head. Choose, just choose to be happy. Swallow. It's been 83 days. It's not like I've been counting, but the last time I tried this, I only made it 60 days. That was about four years ago. Spring is in the air, and the sun has been warm on my face, casting shadows difficult to escape. I'm not sure if this is the right path to take. Sleepless nights are more common now, but when I sleep and dream, I swear it's in color. I know, I know. They say it's not possible, but I swear it's true. And my muse, she visits more often now. I missed her. I didn't realize how much. I find myself crying easily now at movies, poetry readings, and birthday parties, but they're honest tears, unrestricted, unabashed, and seem to be a little less salty. And I laugh. <laughs> Often during inappropriate moments, I confess, letting my own naughty sense of humor take charge. <laughs> do you know that feeling just before laughter turns to tears? God, I hope you do. I fear society and all of our judgment doesn't give us permission to go there. Sometimes you just have to let yourself go, allow yourself to lose control, and I think it's how we let our soul dance. Those pills, they're still sitting there, and the steam has disappeared, and I can see them clearly, still taunting me. Today, their pull is strong, magnetic, and I'm feeling like an old rusty nail without a hammer. The past few days have been darker and more sporadic than I can recall. The voyage to the bottom is a short one, and my baggage has arrived well before me. It's circling on that carousel over there. No one will claim it or turn it in. Fearful it may explode. <laughs> I'm fearful I may implode. But I refuse to take off my shoes, remove my belt, and pack everything neatly into three ounce bottles in a Ziploc bag. All I really want to do is go home back to the place before the pills numbed my soul, back home to me.